welcome back to my channel I hope you all are doing well so in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how I got this super glam makeup look using the new Mac and Selena eyeshadow palette this is one of their newest palettes that they have released and it's in collaboration with Selena La Riena I believe is how you pronounce it so this is what the palette looks like it's got eight shades in it it's got two shimmers and six matte shades. Um, I love this palette because it's got very nice natural colors for every day, but then it also has some nice pops of color like the red, as well as some nice shimmers for more fancier occasions, for like evening events um, and weekend events and stuff like that. So I feel like it's very nice and versatile. Um, so overall in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how I got this look and what my overall thoughts are of this palette. So if you guys want to know how I got this look, then make sure to keep on watching. Alright, so because I want the focus of the video to be on the palette itself, I already went ahead in and did my foundation. Um, I used the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation. Um, and I also went ahead in and I did my brows. For brows, I used the Benefit Cabrow in the shade 04. You guys know I love this product. I always use it to do my brows. And I also went ahead in and I primed and set my lids. And for that, I used the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and a little bit of the Huda Beauty Translucent Setting Powder just to set the uh, lids. So I'm going to go ahead in and jump right into the palette. I'm so excited to see it. So I'm going to go ahead in and get started. I'm going to start off by grabbing this shade right here. It's a perfect transition shade. I'm going to grab my Morphe E17 Blending Brush and I'm going to go ahead in and apply this color onto my crease. This is really, really nice. This product is so nice. It's gliding on effortlessly. It's blending effortlessly and the pigment is really nice and so far no fallout. Um, no fallout on the pan either. But we'll see what happens when we go into the shimmers. But for now, it looks like it's okay. So next I'm going to go ahead in and cut my crease. So I'm just grabbing the brush Morphe M4110. This is what it looks like. I've been using this a lot, so you can see there is some concealer on here. I need to clean my makeup brushes. I feel like I say that in like every other video. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead in with some concealer. I'm just using my Tarte Shape Tape, and I'm going to cut my crease. I'm not gonna go completely and cut my entire crease, just about that much. Now I'm gonna go ahead in and grab this pink shimmer shade. I am so excited to try out these shimmers and see how they apply. So to apply this, I'm going ahead in with the Morphe M124 brush. This is what it looks like. It's like a smaller flat brush. Wow, do you guys see that? That is so beautiful. What I'm going to do is just apply this color onto the first inner third of my lid. So in terms of fallout, I'm not seeing much fallout on my face, like maybe just a tiny, tiny bit. Um, but in terms of the pan, there is a little bit. It's not that much. And I'm only addressing this because I know some people really care about fallout and all that when it comes to like it's a deciding factor for them when it comes to purchasing a palette. So I thought I would show you guys that. It doesn't bother me, honestly, but um, like I said, just wanted to address that. So next I'm going to go ahead in with the second shimmer shade, which is this shade right here. And I'm just going to apply this color onto the um, middle third of my lids. So for this eyeshadow, I am seeing a bit of fallout on my face um, and a little bit on the pan as well. Um, so this one has a little more fallout than the first one. It's applying very nicely and you want to make sure that you really blend it into the first shimmer. So this color definitely doesn't have as much shimmer as the first one. The first one is definitely more shimmery and has more sparkle to it. You can see the second color, it's a little bit dull once you apply it onto the lid. Um, I feel like it 
doesn't look like how I was expecting it to look, but that's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and with this nice pink shade right here, this purpley pink shade. Um, it's almost like a magenta, and I'm just grabbing the Morphe M433 brush, and I'm going to apply this color onto the outer corners. Now I'm going to go ahead and with this shade right here, this chocolate brown color, I'm going to actually go in probably with a mixture of these two shades and I'm going to go ahead and, and really concentrate this on the outer corner to really add some nice dimension to the eyes. So when I'm using the darkest shade, I'm just touching, like simply touching the color. I'm not taking too much color because you don't want to um, accidentally apply too much because it's going to be hard to blend out. So I'm going to go ahead and, and take a break from the eyes. I've already went ahead and, and wiped away any fallout that was under my eyes and um, now what I'm going to do is go ahead and, and put on some concealer. So I'm going in with my Tarte Creaseless Concealer and my Tarte Shape Tape. Now I like to apply the Creaseless Concealer only under my eyes because it has really nice hydration um, in the formula and I really like that for under my eyes so my under eyes don't look so dry. So I'm going to go ahead and, and apply these. What I like to do with the concealer is I like to just clean up the edge of the eyeshadow. You can take some concealer um, onto the sides of your nose to create a nice reverse nose contour. So to set all the concealer in place, I'm going in with the Huda Beauty Translucent Setting Powder in Pound Cake. So while everything is baking, I'm going to go ahead in and do my eyeliner. I'm going to do a nice cat liner and I'm using the tattoo liner by Kat Von D. So now I'm just going back in with the shades that I applied on the outer corners and I'm just making sure I'm happy with how dark they are and how much dimension they are providing to the makeup look. So it looks like I'm all done baking so I'm going to go ahead and, and wipe away the translucent setting powder that's on my face and then I'm also going to go ahead and, and put on some falsies. For falsies I'm going to put on the Farah number no. 12 by Huda Beauty. So before I go ahead and, and put on some lashes, I'm just going to spray my face with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Alright, so lashes are on. Now before I go ahead and with some mascara, I just want to finish up with the lower lash line. So I'm just grabbing this shade right here and I'm going to smoke that onto my lower lash line. And I'm going ahead in with a mixture of these two shades and I'm going to smoke that onto my lower lash line but focusing it very close to the waterline.
All right, so for mascara, I'm going ahead in with the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. All right, so I'm all done with the eyes and I'm gonna go ahead in and finish up with the face. I'm going to go ahead in and um, contour my face using the um, Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. So for blush, I'm going in with the Becca. This is the Luminous Blush in Snapdragon. And for highlight, I'm going to go ahead in with the Becca Champagne Pop Highlight. I'm also going to take a little bit of this highlight and just apply it onto the inner corners. I'm also going to take a beauty sponge and just press the highlight into the skin. I really like this technique because it makes the highlight look very natural and seamless and it looks like it's just a part of your natural skin and it just adds a nice effortless glow. For lips, I'm going to go ahead in with the e.l.f. and Nabella Noir Lip Liner in my Renewed. And for lipstick, I'm going in with a new lipstick that I got. Um, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Nude Kate. you guys so that is the end of the tutorial I really hope you guys enjoyed this video so overall my thoughts on this palette is that I love it I think it's great um, the shadows apply very nice and effortlessly there isn't that much fallout you guys can see um, of course there's going to be some fallout with shimmers that's inevitable with any shimmer so yeah I would say overall it's very nice I can see myself using this um, every day because of the new Neutrals, like I said um, throughout this video I feel like it's got really nice neutrals in it and of course you can see that you can really go crazy and create a very glam look with it as well which is what I did today um, so of course all the products that I use today will be listed down below in the description box so if you're interested go check that out and if you have suggestions on videos you would like me to do then make sure to comment down below and let me know and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me and I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!